U.S. says that it will hold joint naval drills with Russia and China later this month. U.S. Navy Commander Rear Admiral Hossein Khanzadi says the exercises will be launched in the Indian Ocean on December 27th. He made the announcement as he met with the visiting Deputy Chief of Chinese Joint Staff, Major General Xiao Wangming. The two stressed the importance of cooperation between Iranian and Chinese armed forces to ensure security in the region. General Yuan Ming, for his part, said the upcoming joint naval, naval drills are a show of unity between Iran, China, and Russia. Okay. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations, you I came out there that push and teach this word in truth and in sincerity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. What we have here is a video of Iran, China, and Russia. They are going to hold a joint naval drill coming the 27th of December of 2019. Showing you that prophecy is coming to pass. It's coming to pass. And what prophecy is that? Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, the ninth verse. That assembly of great nations. And these are all allies according to the scriptures. I mean, these are all allies. You know, Iran, which is really Persia. Russia is really, which is really the land of the Medes, the Medes. And you got China, which is Moab. They all come in the government and they're doing joint naval exercise drills, man. For what? They're all preparing themselves for that coming great destruction. That coming destruction that Esau loves the call, call it World War III, but we know it as the War of Armageddon. So, what we have here is more prophecy coming to pass. Regardless to what you people out there celebrating that we in a time of mirth, in the time of worshiping an ancient deity that go back to the worship of of Tammuz. We not in that spirit, man. We not in the spirit of mirth. We in the spirit of war. We in the spirit of death and destruction. We in the spirit of pushing this world, man. Wanted the hope for the elect, condemning the two thirds you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that can't get this world, man. Condemning not only the two thirds you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, but also Telling Esau, the so-called white man, his destruction, as well as the other nation that's dwelling in America. And that's a great day that's coming, man. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, is near. It is near. And haste of greatly. And we see it's coming to pass, man. We see all these nations again up producing hypersonic supersonic ICBM nuclear missiles doing mock military drills whether it's naval drills or ground surface to air drills we see all kind of military activities coming to pass man and not only military drills mock military drills we have wars and rumors of wars, man. So we know that the great day of the Most High, which is thermonuclear destruction, is, pro is approaching. We're at the end of Esau's rulership. And we could see it clearly, man. Because we're not, we not bogged down. We're not being, distract being, dis being distracted by, by these pagan festivals. We're not being distracted by this impeachment proceeding, which is nothing but a goddamn dog and pony show, which is nothing but bread and circus, we're not being distracted by that, man. We are staying focused. We're pushing the work, man. We're doing what we have to do, man. We're going out there in the highways and the byways. We're putting up our videos. We are warning you of the destruction that's coming, but you think we're in a time of mirth, and you're forsaking the words of the Most High's prophets. These are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it reads. And it reads, um, 
Zephaniah chapter 1 verse um, 14. The great day of the Lord Yahweh is near. It is near and haste of greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Who's the voice of the Most High, man? His prophets. We out there telling you what's coming to pass. I mean, we telling you that the great day of the Most High is coming to pass. It's going to be thermonuclear destruction. And before that, it's going to be race wars, race riots. It's going to be insurrection. It's going to be martial law. It's going to be people getting caught up to the concentration camps. People, had been, people being beheaded by the way of the guillotine, firing squad, or any other kind of method Esau, the so-called white man, which is the goddamn devil, have planned for you. We are telling you these things, man. We are telling you what's coming down, man. We are telling you what's coming down the pipe. We tell you don't cross that street because you cross that street. is a big-ass hole over there, and you're going for knee-deep in that shit, man. But y'all don't hear us, man. you continue on with your daily routines. Continue on with your worshiping of, of these pagan festivals. Continue on with your adultery, your homosexuality, your gang banging. Continue on with your everyday life, doing what you do, man. Until, guess what? You get caught up. Then you're going to be seeking for answers, but you ain't going to find the prophets of the Most High. Because we ain't going to be on the streets. There's going to be no videos up. So you're going to be out there on your own, man. And we telling you these things. So back in Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and haste of greatly, even the voice of, of the day of the Lord. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry bitterly. The mighty man the two, Esau's mighty man and his military, they're going to cry bitterly. Not only Esau's mighty men, but the mighty men you see depicted in this scripture, I'm saying, in this, um, in this, in captured photo, Moab and the men of um um of Iran, they mighty men gonna cry bitterly too. Why? Cause nuclear missiles gonna hit their lands too. Certain parts of the land. So that great day is coming, man. That's why, pursuant to Isaiah the twenty fourth chapter, the nineteenth verse on down, it tell you how the earth is gonna rock to and fro like a like a drunk. The earth is gonna be clean dissolved. The earth is going to rock to and fro like a drunkard. And what's going to make the earth clean dissolve? Them nuclear missiles. What's going to make the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard? Them hypersonic, supersonic ICBM nuclear missiles, man. That's going to be shot off from the north to the east. From the, from, from, from the north to the west. From the west to the north, man. That's going to make the earth rock to and fro. But you people are not concerned about prophecy. You people are concerned about having a good time, man. Committing your adultery. Leaving your man, for whatever the case may be. Going off and getting and, and, and going to the arms of another man. Committing adultery. Leaving your man and going over to the arms of another, of another man is adultery, man. And you people go, and you women are gonna pay for that, man. You men out there that's committing adultery with these women that have men, you're gonna pay for that. You gang banging ass niggas that's out there committing all kind of atrocities, selling drugs, gang banging. Y'all gonna pay for that, man? Cause you're not worried about the prophecies of the Most High. You're too busy doing your everyday life, and y'all gonna pay for it, man. It says, verse fifteen: the day, that day is the is is a day of wrath, a day of trouble. Yeah, Jacob's trouble. That wrath is coming. It's coming from the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah. And that day that's in the trouble that's coming, that day of trouble was Jacob's trouble. Trouble for you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, that's a part of the Two Thirds Club. Jacob's trouble, man. Guillotines, mass arrests, concentration camps, being shot down by Gurkha troops, UN troops, Interpol, suffering from famine. Pestilence, having your house, having your doors kicked in by different men looking for goods, having your doors kicked in by the international police force or the UN troops or the national guards or the NYPD. That day of trouble was coming, man. That's the day of martial law, the day of Jacob's trouble. It says, 
That day is the day of back in Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 15. That day is the day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. What's going to make the land waste? What's going to be the day of wasteness is coming after all them tribulations, after the race wars, the famine, the plagues, the guillotines, the martial law. What's going to happen? Thermal nuclear destruction, concentrated fire from them chariots. That's a day of wasteless. You understand what the scriptures are saying. We bring these scriptures out all the time, man. We bring these scriptures out all the time. So you can't get it, man. Guess what, man? You just a lost soul, man, and you're going to be destroyed. It says, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. And that's what's going to happen, man. That's what's going to happen. A day of clouds, thick darkness, a day of gloominess, and wasteness, man. And that's what's coming, man. But you people do not want to hear what the prophets of the Most High is saying. Because you don't look at us as being prophets. You look at us as being niggas on a corner talking shit. But that's going to be to your downfall, man. Because each time the Mosai slid to destroy a nation, he sent his prophets to warn his people that was dwelling in that nation, in that land, of the destruction that was coming. Those that hear, they heard. Those that forbear, they forbear and they got destroyed. Those that heard and they were slated for to be delivered, they got delivered. So that's nothing new. So we telling you these things, man. But do you hear us? No. You hear what Esau, the so-called white man, have to say. And that's going to be your downfall. So with that, this has been a great millstone to the point. Abba Ratazayu Akemati was edified. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.